Anthem family. Uh, welcome to Community at Home. Uh, today's edition of Community Home is going to be uh, giving you some information about some ways that you can add value and then to just kind of let you know uh, what it is and how we're moving forward as a church during this um, situation that we find ourselves in. So let me talk about what we're going to be doing as we move forward. Uh, this Sunday, which is the first Sunday in May, uh, we're going to do what we've been doing for the past seven weeks. Uh, we're going to have online church uh, the way that we've been having it for the first Sunday in May. We are going to be uh, uh, receiving communion together, so you'll want to have the elements ready uh, when you when you're when you're watching whether that's at eight o'clock, nine thirty, or eleven, or any time after that when it's on demand. Uh, we hope that maybe um, by May the seventeenth that we'll be able to to start regathering. Uh, we don't know exactly what that's going to look like. Uh, so what I want you to know, number one, is this coming Sunday, the first Sunday in May, is going to be what we've been doing. After that, we're just really going to be paying attention to what it is, uh, the way that we can best uh, start uh, being together as a church. Uh, we're not trying to figure out how to reopen the church because the church hasn't closed. Uh, we've been continuing to do church and being the church. Uh, but we do want to figure out how we can begin to regather. And we're going to give several options, and we're going to do our best to make sure that we've thought through everything. And when we know, you're going to be the first to know. Uh, so uh, if there's not any information, if, if you don't, you feel like you don't know what's going on, that's because there's nothing to know what's going on. And when we know that, we'll let you know. Uh, what's going on with that. So be paying attention to Community at Homes this week because later in this week, everything that I just said may change. Uh, but that is what we're doing as of Tuesday morning, of April the 28th. Uh, part of our, ch our church, we, we exist to help people live the truth of Jesus in everyday life. And sometimes we do that really well and sometimes we don't do that really well. Uh, sometimes other people are doing it really well and we're not. Sometimes we're doing it really well and they're not. Uh, but that's that's what we want to be. We want to be about helping people live the truth of Jesus in everyday life. And then we have three kind of purposes that we're about, and that's to help people know God, make friends, and add value. The add value part, I want to talk about two ways that you can add value. One is through Club Christ. Club Christ is an organization that we support here in town. Uh, they do amazing work uh, with inner city kids uh, that th they just do uh, terrific things by helping them, primarily helping them with school and how to learn uh, while introducing them uh, to the gospel and introducing them to the love of Jesus. And one of the things that they really need is some school kits that's got the things that will help them continue their learning. And so we, we have set a goal to sponsor a hundred kids that are in the club price ministry at $40 per child, and that $40 goes to put together the kit. Uh, we've already received uh, sponsorship for 62 kids, so thank you, thank you uh, for doing that. Uh, we want to reach that goal of 100, and the way that you do that, if you go to our website and you go to uh, the tab that says Adult, Adult Discipleship, if you'll click on that, you'll go down to Outreach, and under Outreach, we'll have how you go about doing that and how you give the $40 that will go directly, 100% will go directly to those children. There's a second way that we can help, and it is uh, to help the healthcare workers at a hospital in Tuba City, Arizona. Tuba City, Arizona. I don't know if you've ever been to Tuba City. I haven't. But I know someone who is one of the emergency room doctors there. Uh, Zane uh, was part of our church the first year uh, that we existed at Wallen, and uh, they moved uh, to Flagstaff, where he is the emergency room doctor for a couple of hospitals. Uh, Zane reached out to me a couple of weeks ago and was just talking about how much he really appreciated the, the messages that we were putting out and uh, that they had watched Easter Sunday and uh, was just exactly the thing that they needed. But he went on to talk about how rough things were. Tuba City uh, primarily uh, helps or is the hospital for the Native American reservation that is there. And they are getting slammed with this virus. And um, 
so Zane and I continue to talk and we're trying to figure out a way, what's a way that we could help. And here's how um, we've come up to help. We want to help the nurses. The nurses are working unbelievable hours, um, dealing with all kinds of things at the top of their list, uh, fear of being around the virus so much in such an intense way. Uh, their biggest need is, is, is hot meals. Uh, as they're working these really long shifts. So we're going to go in. We've got a system planned uh, where we're going to provide hot meals on a, on a consistent basis for the nurses. We're not asking you to give any money to that. Uh, we're going to use money you've already given. Uh, there's so many people in our church that are faithful givers. And so we're going to take uh, the money that's already been given, and we're going to use that to provide these meals. But there is something that you can do. You can write a note. Uh, we want to include with each meal an encouraging note and a thank you note uh, to the nurses that are working so hard to care for people. S same thing, if you go to Adult Discipleship on our website, go down to Outreach, there'll be that information and how you can get that those notes uh, to them. Uh, our children are going to be writing some notes, and uh, we're going to, to be getting that to the nurses as well. So there's two ways that you can add value uh, to this situation that we find in one local and then one in Arizona. So I hope you'll do uh, at least one of those or maybe both of those. And then hopefully we're, you're doing other things as you've figured out how to add value to the community in which you live. Uh, we miss you guys. We continue uh, to pray for the time that we can regather. And uh, over the coming few days, we'll give more and more information about how we think or what that's going to look like in the coming weeks. Until then, hang in there, and we will see you soon.